Welcome to this video. My name is Hannah. I'm a UK registered nurse, a university lecturer, and I've been an NMC OSCE program lead in the past as well. And I also now deliver independent um, nursing tutoring and independent OSCE preparation for international nurses. In this video, I want to update you on the different oxygen devices. So traditionally, you've been asked in the oxygen therapy station to administer oxygen with a reservoir mask. However, some recent feedback for nurses is that these um, devices have changed or you could have a different device and not your traditional reservoir mask um, prescription. The important thing is not to panic and also the important thing to remember is it's really good for your UK practice to understand all our masks anyway and when we use them and specific information that you need to know. So I'm going to show you each of the other three oxygen devices in this video and give you just some key information about what you need to be aware of for your exam but also for your UK practice. So the first device is the nasal cannula. So you might be familiar with this from your um, nursing practice anyway. So this is the two prongs will go into the patient's nose and it's used specifically to deliver low concentrations of oxygen. So a low flow rate. We shouldn't be administering more than five litres, more than four litres, sorry, of oxygen through your nasal cannula. Um, so for mild hypoxia um, and sometimes for patients who just need a small amount of oxygenation um, support, it's obviously got benefits. You know, the patient can eat with the nasal cannula on um, and, you know, it's not quite as restrictive um, potentially. When we are looking at the prescription chart, there's an image here for you to see. So it would just be prescribed with an N um, with your litres of oxygen. So the same principles apply in terms of reading the prescription chart, confirming it's valid. And if we were prescribed nasal cannula, we would need to select this piece of equipment. We would connect it to the flow meter, just the same. Again, it shouldn't be prescribed over four litres, so just check that's correct. We want to... Um, loosen up the bottom here, apply it onto the patient. So the prongs go up the patient's nose, it loops around the ears. And then if needs be, we can just um, tighten it a little bit under the chin, but not too much that is uncomfortable or strangling your patient. Um, so my patient mannequin doesn't have ears. I'm just gonna put that on there like that. Post procedure, so again, you still need to document this correctly that you've administered it. You also need to check regularly for sores and dryness up the nose because the oxygen's going into the nose, it's very sore. We wanna offer regular mouth care as well because the um, oxygen is going into the back of the mouth as well through the nose, it can be um, um, drying. We'd obviously wanna recheck the oxygen saturations, make sure they're within target range. And again, we still want to check for pressure damage. So we can still get pressure damage up and around the nose, around the face, the back of the ears, um, hopefully not too much under the chin because it shouldn't be that tight, but we just want to regularly check where that um, oxygen tubing is and making sure there's no pressure damage. Device number two it might come up is a simple face mask. So this is um, just a standard oxygen face mask. It obviously doesn't have the reservoir bag like you do with the reservoir mask. It can deliver more oxygen than the nasal cannula, but not as much as the reservoir mask. So used in between for patients with kind of moderate hypoxia. Um, or, um, sometimes it can be used post optically as well as patients are coming around from the anesthetic and needing some additional oxygen. Um, it can deliver five to 10 liters of oxygen per minute. You don't want to um, set it lower than five liters because you can get a buildup of carbon dioxide. And if you set it over 10 liters, it's very, it's not going to deliver really any more oxygen. It's not gonna be effective in delivering high flow rates, which is when you would go to your reservoir mask. So again, very simply, connects into oxygen flow meter, turn your flow meter on. You don't need to do any safety checks or specific checks on it. Make sure everything is connected. Make sure the mask is not too big and a good um, size for your patient. Tighten up the straps both sides, making sure it's snug but comfortable and not too um, tight for the patient. Same post-procedure checks and verbalization. So again, regular mouth care and water um, because oxygen obviously very drying. We still want to check for pressure damage. So same places, nose, ears, and back of head and the face. And again, we would be reassessing the target oxygen saturations to make sure they are within the prescribed range and escalating if not. 
And the final device is a venturi mask. So venturi masks are used to deliver a set percentage of oxygen at consistent and continuous rate, um, no matter how fast or how the patient's breathing pattern is. These are particularly used in patients with um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease um, and those patients at risk of um, type 2 respiratory failure. So they, um, the venturi connector part is the coloured part here in the middle of the system, and there are different um, colour-coded um, valves, I suppose, which um, deliver different concentrations of oxygen. So on your prescription, it will be prescribed as a V, and then the um, amount of oxygen, so V28 would be one that delivers 28% oxygen, V60, one that delivers 60, and V35, one that delivers 35%. On the colour-coded part, it will tell you exactly um, what percentage of oxygen it delivers. So this yellow one here is says 35%, and it will also tell you how many litres of oxygen you need to set in order to deliver the correct amount. So this says eight litres, okay? So whatever your prescription is, you want to select the right venturi, okay? So they come in different colours, different percentages. You need to connect it into your mask system, connect your oxygen tubing. You would connect this to your flow meter and set in the dialed um, amount, which it will tell you on your venturi mask and should also match your prescription. So to deliver 35% oxygen with this one, I'm going to set this to 8 liters, okay? It's important you set exactly what is written on your venturi mask, okay? Otherwise, you're not going to deliver the correct amount of oxygen, okay? And that's really important for these patients. Again, the mask will go over exactly the same, making sure it's a good fit. Just gently tighten it up, but it's not too tight. And again, we are observing with these patients exactly the same things. We'd want to observe um, their oxygen saturations within target range. Also, we most probably just want to observe respiratory rate and pattern as well. And we want to make sure um, that we offer regular mouth care because, again, we're still giving oxygen, still very drying to the mouth. And again, we'd want to check pressure areas, the same places, same style of mask, so nose, face, back of head and ears. As with everything in your NMC exam, if it's not exactly how you have um, prepared, you want to not panic, the same principles apply. So just remember, with all these oxygen devices, we are still going to um, do our ID and allergy checks. It's still a medication. We still need to read and confirm the prescription chart because it is a medication. If you get lost or confused with what is prescribed, remember the coding section on the bottom will tell you exactly the codes and the names of the devices which will match your prescription. Best remember to select the right device out of your equipment drawer and to set it up correctly. Most of your post-procedure advice is the same for all these um, oxygen devices. So just remember again, your pressure area check wherever the device is sitting, regular mouth care and making sure the mouth is maintained moist, um, rechecking your oxygen saturations and making sure they're within your prescribed target range.